Uh, okay, so what do we do with hash functions? Lots of things. Okay, we will see that we can use hash functions in authentication protocols. Uh, we need a key when we do that. Okay, there's sort of no free lunch there. Uh, we can also use uh, H, uh, the HMAC for integrity, so there's a good use for hash functions. Uh, message fingerprinting, meaning just a kind of error detection, right? You can create a hash of a function of a file. Okay, you could go back later, recompute the hash. If the hashes don't agree, what do you know about the file? Changed. It's changed. Okay. Even if it just changed in one bit, if it's 100 gigabytes and it changed in one bit, the hashes are going to be different. Okay, so it's a very sensitive uh, kind of error detection. So those kind of go together. Uh, this is was our original motivation, so we could use the uh, thing for uh, the, the hash to make the signatures more efficient. And you can actually do any, you can use a hash function to encrypt and decrypt and stuff like that. Uh, it wouldn't be very natural <coughs> to do that, <laughs> but you could, okay. Um, now, the other thing with hash functions is there's like this whole uh, kind of cottage industry of doing clever things with hash functions. Uh, and some of it's quite, you know, amazing and sort of a counter and, and not always so intuitive. Uh, so we'll, we'll look at just a couple of, couple of those kind of things here. Okay, so online bids. Suppose you want to, uh, it's not really an auction, you want to sell something online and you want to let people place bids. They're not gonna you know, auction it, you're just gonna give them one chance. Everybody gets to place one bid, whoever has the highest bid gets it, okay? Sounds simple. Okay, so our bidders here are going to be Alice, Bob, and Charlie. Okay, now suppose Alice, Bob, and Charlie, they all think, you know, well, okay, Alice says, I'm going to bid A dollars for this, Bob's going to bid B, Charlie's going to bid C. Okay, now, if you're Alice, do you want to be the first one to submit your bid? Why not? Because when? The biggest chances are if you submit the last. Well, okay, okay. So the idea is, you know, I'm the auctioneer. You can trust me, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a trustworthy guy. Okay, so you guys send me your bids, and once I receive all the bids, then I'm going to post them online. I'm not going to post them first, okay? So nobody gets a fair, you know, unfair advantage. And of course, you can trust me. Right? Okay, so what's the potential problem here if you submit first? <coughs> Maybe you can't trust me, right? Why would you trust me, right? I mean, if uh, you submit your bid first, maybe I'll say, hey, Bob, you know, for 10 bucks, I'll tell you what Alice bid. Okay. And you can bid two cents more. Okay, so you don't want to go first, right? Because there's potential for someone else to find out what your bid is. Okay, so you're kind of concerned about that. Okay, so they don't trust their bids will stay secret. So how could we help to alleviate this fear that the bids will stay secret? Now we want to do this, you know, sort of, if we can get away without having keys and public keys and symmetric keys and all that, that's even better, okay? So can we do it without uh, having some heavy-duty cryptography? Well, here's what I propose. So instead of submitting the actual bids, Alice computes the hash of her bid, Bob computes the hash of his, Charlie the hash of his, and they submit the hashes first. Then I'm gonna post the hashes online. Everybody can see the hashes, and then they submit the actual bids. Okay, that's the plan. Then I, once I get all the bids, I post the bids, right? And then, you know, you can uh, see the winner. Um, okay, so now, let's go back to the beginning here. You compute the hashes. Is it okay to be the first one to submit your hash? Well, suppose you submit your hash to me and I say, you know, hey, Bob, for 10 bucks, I'll give you Alice's hash before you submit yours. Does that help, Bob? And why not? Because the hash is one way. Okay, the hash function is one way. So knowing the hash value doesn't tell you anything about the value that's <coughs> going in. It's exactly the same as the one he was going to submit. Are you talking about HMAC <laughs> or hash? Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay, we'll get there. <laughs> uh, okay, so submitting the hashes first, you don't, you're not hesitant to do that, maybe, uh, because you um, know the hashes are one way. Okay, now suppose uh, I make all the hashes public, right? So hashes are there. Now, 
are you willing to submit your actual bid first, or is that still a concern? In other words, suppose now I've posted the hashes, now Alice submits her bid, and I say, hey, Bob, you know, here's Alice's bid. Ten bucks. Does that help Bob to have that information? Why not? Why can't he change his bid? Because collision, uh, because hash functions are collision resistant. You have to find another value that hashes to the same thing, right? And you can't do that because hashes are collision resistant. So we're relying on two properties here. Um, that revealing the uh, hashes don't reveal the bids because they're one way. Uh, and sending the bids doesn't matter what order because it's collision resistant. Okay, now there is a problem with this, right? As some people I think we're grumbling about here. Okay, so what's the potential problem? What? Uh, exactly, that's, a, that's the answer. A forward search attack. Meaning, if you see the hash of A, it's a one-way function. You can't figure out A, but you could figure out A by... I mean, think about it. This is something we're selling online. What are the possible bids? I mean, maybe the reasonable bids are, you know, a thousand to two thousand dollars. I can hash all possible values between one thousand and two thousand dollars, even to the cent, right? And that's going to take me a fraction of a second. And, I'll, and if any of those match H of A, I know what Alice's bid was. And that's a like forward search attack. It's very analogous to the thing we did with public key systems. Okay, so this thing doesn't work, right? Well, homework problem, it's actually very easy to fix, okay? So how would you fix this, okay, and make it actually work, right? So think about that. Uh, okay, so that's a good place to stop. Any questions?